Uh -huh. All right, uh, so today I'm going to be talking about brain damage and stem cells. I think it is no secret that brain damage, be it brain disorders, mechanical trauma or stroke, is one of the main causes of mortality and disability worldwide. And uh, despite considerable progress, clinical treatments is still limited mainly to supportive care. At the same time, uh, stem cells therapy has received much attention as a potential means of promoting recovery after injuries of, to the central nervous system. And today I'd like to focus specifically uh, on the effects of conditioned media of progenitor cells of different origins. Um, such as neurogenic progenitor cells and adipose-derived mononuclear cells as a source of mesenchymal multipotent stromal cells on the brain cortex neurons in rats. Uh, so, uh, in our study, uh, traumatic brain injury was reproduced by a free-falling 50-gram uh, weight uh, with the damage to the left hemisphere of the brain. Uh, the rats were divided into four groups. Uh, here you can see they are all color-coded. Uh, the control group is green. Uh, the group with uh, brain injury but without the treatment is orange. And uh, two groups which received the treatment are uh, pink and violet, respectively. Uh, so the rats in the groups three and four were injected intraperitoneally three times. Uh, with an interval of one day uh, with neurogenic progenitor cells and adipose-derived mononuclear cells conditioned medium. Uh, these conditioned mediums uh, were obtained from the cells of fetal rat brain and adult rat adipose tissue. Uh, the, ne uh, the neurogenic progenitor cells cultures uh, were characterized by one of the main markers of such cultures, which is the number of nesting positive cells. Uh, you can see them here on the photo, uh, slightly below the skin. Uh, and the number of these cells in cultures reached nearly uh, 65%. And in the 24-hour adipose-derived mononuclear cells cultures were characterized by the number of CD 105 plus positive cells. Uh, these are the cells immunopositive for endoglin and one of the um, zincimal multipotent stromal cells markers. Uh, the percentage of these cells was nearly 82%. And again, you can see them here on the photo. Uh, also, it should be noted that the cells in this culture showed the ability to form so-called spheroids and to differentiate into neurons and astrocytes and NPC cultures and into at least three other cell types in AMC cultures. Uh, the control group and the group uh, where uh, only brain damage was reproduced but no injection, with no injections were also prepared. On the fifth day after the traumatic brain injury and all three injections, the brains of all groups were removed, fixed in formalin, set in paraffin, cut and stained, uh, and then the microscopic examination of photoregistration and comparative histopathological and quantitative analysis of the samples was performed. Uh, and here on the graph, we can see the data after all these uh, analyses, here data are represented as the median with a quartile interval between 25th and 75th percentiles. Uh, in general, the general number of neurons in the cortex of rats decreased almost twofold. Uh, here you can see the decrease in the damaged hemisphere and in the contralateral one. The medians are correspondingly 65 and 72 compared to 129 in control group. Uh, the intraperitoneal injection of progenitor cells conditioned media significantly increased the number of neurons in the cortex of rats on the fifth day after traumatic brain injury compared to this value in rats with traumatic brain injury with no additional treatments and the medians uh, were correspondingly 84 and 99 in damaged and contralateral hemispheres after the conditioned medium injections. 
and uh, 102 and 112 correspondingly after the adipose derived conditioned media. Uh, here also you can see the histological slides and you can just visually compare and see the difference between all the groups. Uh, well, uh, all in all, the increase of the neurons number in the brain cortex of rats treated with neurogenic progenitor cells conditioned media and adipose derived mononuclear cells cultured medium after traumatic brain injury. Uh, comparing to the untreated ones, uh, suggests that the general neuroprotective effect of conditioned media obtained from these cells on the nervous tissue. Uh, the increase in total number of neurons in damaged as well as in unaffected hemispheres could indicate anti-apoptotic and life-sustaining effect of the medium. Uh, if we compare the action of conditioned media, uh, the adipose-derived mononuclear cell cultures conditioned media had slightly higher potential. Uh, all in all, we can say that conditioned media obtained from neurogenic progenitor cells and adipose-derived cells have potential as a therapy for damaged nervous tissue. And it could open the way to enhance neurogenesis uh, through the addition of exogenous trophic factors derived from the aforementioned stem cell mediums. And that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Lina. So we have first question from Larissa Skipper. Uh... Please uh, clarify this. The, my question is, why did you uh, decide to use uh, conditioned media instead of uh, stem cells per se? Uh, because a lot of research uh, was performed with the grafts uh, of the stem cells and the results were quite controversial. Um, and the main results of these results is that uh, the most beneficial factors are produced by the cells. Uh, and why would we graft the cells themselves if we can derive all the good stuff, inject it safely without the surgical intervention? That was the logic of the research. Thank you very much. We have just one short question from Metrofiliko. Were you able to identify the composition of the stem cell condition of medium? So the composition of this medium? Uh, yes, we were, uh, because uh, there were some standards for the uh, stem cell lines. And uh, I showed you, sorry, I can't go back to my poster because it will take a lot of time, but I showed you two photos. Uh, confirming with immunohistological stain that we have uh, nesting positive cells in our stem cell lines and uh, uh, CD105 positive cells uh, in our adipose derived cells, stem cells, medium. Okay, thank you so much. Rina, you also can be able to see some questions more you have for you in the other chat. Please respond for them. 